Uh, President Joe Biden and European allies have been targeting Vladimir Putin and several oligarchs with punishing sanctions. But today, Russia's president fires back, claiming those sanctions have failed. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, as Western nations financially squeeze Russia, going after banks, energy, and even multi-million dollar yachts, the Russian leader known for distortions, intimidation, and lies remains defiant. In televised remarks with top economic officials, Russian President Vladimir Putin contends U.S. and European sanctions imposed on his country have actually backfired, helping him and hurting the West. Still, President Joe Biden calls him a war criminal who is guilty of genocide against Ukraine. And back in the U.S., the White House reminds Americans it's tax day. And President Biden wants to go after the ultra-rich. The White House writing, President Biden is calling on Congress to pass legislation requiring the wealthiest American households to pay a minimum of 20 percent on all of their income, including unrealized investment income that currently is untaxed. But just today, Senator Tim Scott tweeting, the Biden administration's reckless policies have caused sky-high inflation that puts us at risk. This administration needs to turn the tide before it's too late. Meanwhile, on a cool, cloudy, rainy South Lawn, the return of the White House Easter egg roll, which in past years fell victim to the pandemic. President Biden and the First Lady welcoming kids and adults. All of you have fun today. Welcome to the White House. Welcome to your house. Welcome to the South Lawn. Thank you and happy, happy Easter. Just yesterday, President Biden called Easter a day of joy and hope, of renewal and rebirth and highlighted what he called the basic dignity and respect for all of God's children. Also tonight, yet another update on the national mask mandate on planes and trains. It was recently extended for a few weeks. Well, now today, a judge in Florida just shot that down, saying U.S. health officials exceeded their authority. It's not clear if the feds will appeal that ruling. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.